they said Elon Musk couldn't make a battery worth talking about. It wasn't whispered in some quiet corner or buried in an obscure blog post. It was public, sharp, and meant to sting. People laughed, industry insiders nodded knowingly, and battery giants kept building their empires on lithium. Musk didn't fight back with snarky comments or PR campaigns. He went silent. And in that silence, something was happening. Now, the silence is breaking. Tesla has been developing something that could turn the battery industry upside down. A breakthrough that might push lithium into history books sooner than anyone expected. It's called the Aluminum Ion Supercapacitor Fusion Battery, and it's headed for the 2026 Tesla Model 2. This isn't a minor update or a slight improvement. It's a leap that could make entire supply chains irrelevant and force a reshuffle of global energy power. For decades, lithium-ion batteries have powered almost every portable and electric device we rely on. They've done the job, but they've also held us back. Their energy density, the amount of energy they can store per kilogram, sits somewhere between 300 and 500 watt-hours. Tesla's aluminum-ion fusion system pushes that number close to 1,000 watt-hours per kilogram. That's not just a small gain. It's doubling what's possible, packing more range into a smaller, lighter package. Charging speed is another game-changer. Lithium-ion can take half an hour to 45 minutes to fully charge under ideal conditions. Aluminum-ion can do it in about 10 minutes. Imagine pulling into a charging station, plugging in, walking inside to grab a coffee, and finding your car ready to go before you've even taken the last sip. Longevity is where this new battery leaves lithium in the dust. A typical lithium pack lasts about 8 years and maybe 2,000 full charge cycles before serious capacity loss. Tesla's aluminum-ion fusion design is built for 25 years of service, handling more than 15,000 charge cycles while maintaining most of its original power. For many owners, the battery would outlive the car itself. Temperature tolerance is another massive advantage. Lithium-ion batteries need a very specific temperature range, too hot or too cold, and they start to degrade or shut down. Aluminum-ion doesn't have that problem. It works anywhere from minus 50 degrees Celsius to 150 degrees Celsius without needing heavy, complex cooling or heating systems. That saves weight, cost, and makes the car more reliable in extreme climates. Tesla's secret isn't just in the chemistry, but in the architecture. The battery has two distinct layers that work together. The aluminum ion layer provides consistent, steady energy for day-to-day -day driving. Sitting above it is a supercapacitor system designed for quick bursts, acceleration, regenerative braking, anything that demands sudden energy movement. The two systems complement each other, so drivers don't have to pick between high performance and long range. But as much as this is about performance, it's also about resources. Lithium is scarce, around 22 million metric tons in the world, and most of it is concentrated in a few countries. Worse, the refining process is overwhelmingly controlled by China, giving them an outsized influence over global battery supply. Aluminum is a completely different story. The world has more than 700 million metric tons of reserves. The United States alone produces over 1.7 million tons each year, and aluminum can be recycled almost endlessly without losing quality. That means lower costs, more secure supply chains, and the potential for a true circular economy. Tesla estimates that producing aluminum-ion batteries could cut manufacturing costs by 75% compared to lithium packs. That's a drop from $15,000 per pack to under $4,000, which would put EV ownership within reach for far more people. Hidden inside this battery is a microscopic upgrade that makes an enormous difference. Graphene quantum dots. These particles are only a nanometer wide, so small you could line up 10,000 of them across the width of a human hair. They're embedded in two places, along the aluminum anode and in the separator layer. Their main job is to stop dendrites, tiny metal spikes that grow inside lithium batteries and eventually cause short circuits and failure. By directing the flow of electrons along clean, controlled paths, these quantum dots make the battery safer and help it last longer. They also cut electrical resistance inside the battery by up to 95%, which means less energy wasted as heat and more going straight to the wheels. 
Charging speed also gets a huge boost, allowing up to 10 times faster charging without overheating. And the cost? Minimal, only about a single gram of graphene quantum dots is needed for each battery pack. Tesla isn't keeping this technology in a lab for years of testing. Pre-production models have already been built and tested under real driving conditions, with mass production planned for 2026. By the time competitors figure out how to scale their own graphene battery designs, Tesla could already be working on its next generation. The Model 2's battery will also be backed by a brain, a quantum neural processor called QNP1, located under the center console and wired into the car's main control systems. It works like a predictive co-pilot, learning from your driving history, GPS patterns, and even biometric data like eye movement and muscle tension. This isn't about guessing when you'll take a left turn. It's about managing the battery with incredible precision. By anticipating your driving needs, QNP1 can adjust power delivery, charging schedules, and even the car's driving feel. The result is up to 25% more efficiency and 30% less battery wear. Instead of fixed sport or comfort modes, the car adapts to your mood and driving style in real time. And this battery isn't just for driving. Tesla envisions the Model 2 as part of a larger energy network. The fast charging and discharging ability of aluminum ion chemistry makes it ideal for vehicle-to-grid systems. Imagine your parked car helping stabilize your city's power grid during peak demand hours. McKinsey predicts that by 2026, urban EVs could collectively offset 12% of city grid load. That's like building a network of mobile power plants without laying a single new cable. Because aluminum ion doesn't require heavy climate control systems, it works just as well in freezing Canada as it does in scorching Dubai. That universal reliability makes it perfect for autonomous fleets, where downtime and maintenance costs eat into profits. For ride-hailing networks, these batteries could mean huge savings, up to $12,000 per car over its lifetime. Tesla isn't stopping at pure aluminum ion chemistry. They're also developing a hybrid version that blends aluminum and lithium in the same cell. This design uses an ultra-thin aluminum layer instead of copper foil, making the battery lighter. The anode is coated with aluminum nanoparticles for faster ion movement, while the cathode is layered with aluminum and conductive carbon to reduce energy loss. In this hybrid, lithium ions act as scouts, moving quickly to start the charge and discharge process while aluminum ions carry the heavier load behind them. This synchronized movement, known as dual-ion transport, delivers nearly four times the power of traditional lithium-ion cells. What really makes this hybrid unique is its ability to heal itself. Under stress, fast charging, hard acceleration, rough conditions, small cracks can form inside the electrodes. In a normal battery, that damage adds up over time. In Tesla's design, aluminum particles move to fill those cracks automatically, while lithium maintains a protective layer that constantly renews itself. The liquid electrolyte flows like blood, restoring lost electrical contact and keeping performance steady. It's a battery that doesn't just work hard, it takes care of itself. This is bigger than one car. It's bigger than Tesla. It's a shift in how the world thinks about storing and using energy. Lithium ion got us here. But it came with trade-offs, scarcity, slow charging, limited lifespan, and supply chains tied to a few countries. Aluminum ion and its hybrid variations could solve those problems, opening the door to cheaper, faster, longer-lasting batteries that work anywhere on the planet. For drivers, it could mean an electric car that costs less than a used gas-powered vehicle, charges in minutes, lasts decades, and doubles as a home energy source. For cities, it means cleaner, more reliable energy infrastructure without building massive new plants. For Tesla, it's a quiet but undeniable declaration that they're still ahead of the curve, even when the rest of the industry doubts them. The competition is still focused on refining the past. Tesla is building the future. And the future looks like aluminum, graphene, quantum dots, and a battery that knows you as well as you know yourself.